What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to Cloud Gaming Extreme Channel. Now as you guys saw at the Xbox Showcase event, Game Pass was talked about a lot. And I've stated this before, personally I feel like Game Pass is what Microsoft is really focusing on right now. So it's pretty neat to see that all the games that were showcased at the Xbox Showcase event are actually coming to Game Pass. And I've been playing Game Pass a lot lately. And the reason I've been playing Game Pass is because you can actually play Game Pass in the cloud. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. Now, Phil Spencer has came out and said that xCloud is actually going to be coming to Game Pass in the fall. But so you guys know the xCloud experience right now is really laggy and really terrible. So I want to show you guys a better way to experience the Game Pass games in the cloud. So if you're interested, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Let's get right into it. So as you can see here, this is how you do it. Right here, I have a virtual PC by the name of Shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access Game Pass through Shadow. And the benefit with this is that you will actually get to play Xbox games better than it actually plays on Xbox One X because you are going to be playing this game with PC spec requirements. For instance, Gears of War 5 is only 60 FPS on the Xbox One X, but for PC, you can get all the way to 90. And over in the Will of Wisps, same thing, they touted that at the showcase event that you'll be able to play it at 120 with Xbox Series X. You can actually do that right now using Shadow and playing these Game Pass games in the cloud. So I'm going to show you guys what this all looks like. So as you guys can see right here, I have my Game Pass booted up. And this is Game Pass for PC. If you guys have Game Pass Ultimate, it, it's going to be the same thing. And that's what's going to be available uh, with xCloud this fall, Game Pass Ultimate. So as you can see here, I have Halo 3. All the Halos are on here. You have Gears 4, you have Forza Horizon, you have Over in the Willow Wisps, you have Street of uh, Rage 4. So all these games are available in Game Pass. Now the beautiful thing is you can just click one of these games and you can install it to Shadow PC, which is again a virtual computer in the cloud. So I'm going to show you guys my library already. As you can see here, these are the games to live that I already have installed in the cloud for Shadow. So check this out, fellas. So if I click Ori, I can play this. Again, this is running in the cloud. It's not running off of my PC. So I can hit play right here. I can get right into playing this game right here in the cloud. Also, the beautiful thing with Shadow is you can play this on your mobile device. If you have an Android TV, you can play this on your Android TV device as well. So I'll show you guys graphically what this looks like and what you're able to do with Shadow. So if I come here and if I go to settings and I go to display, you can change it to match your screen capacity so i have a 1080p monitor so that's my max limit but i have this on my 4k samsung tv in the living room and i can actually max this out to 4k as well again you have options to flex by the way if you guys haven't played this game you guys need to do yourself a favor and play this game it is a gem such a beautiful beautiful game so we're going to go into graphics and i'm going to showcase this as you guys can see here just like it showcased in the xbox showcase event how many times am i going to say showcase but you can mess with the fps setting here and originally this game says 60 or maybe 30 fps on the original xbox one but for this video we're going to crank it up to 120 as you can see here, the beautiful thing about this game on Shadow and all of the Xbox games that I'm going to showcase is that these are the PC ports. So it's going to sound really, really good and play really, really well and smooth. So we're going to start a fresh game here. All right, so let's get right into this. 
This game is very cinematic. It's pretty cool. Again, if you guys haven't checked this out. And do not mind the FPS down there. It is not legit. It is not real. <laughs> it's actually not working. And I've tried to disable it. Um, but it's, it's just what it is. So that's not true. But as you can see here, man, it runs really smooth. Really, really fast. And it looks great. Again, just showcasing why this is the better way to play Xbox One Game Pass games instead of using xCloud. xCloud, you limit it to 720p and you limit it to just playing on Android devices. With Shadow, you can play it anywhere because Shadow is available in iOS, it's available in Android, it's available in Mac, PC, Android TVs. This game is, is such a beautiful, beautiful game. I can't stress that enough. This is my daughter's favorite game. She plays this scene, this part here over and over. Because it reminds her like of a, you know, cartoon, like a Disney cartoon. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> but again, just wanna showcase the beauty of this game. So again, look at the graphics, look how sharp it is, look how vibrant the colors are, look at the movement, such a beautiful experience. Alright, so I'm just gonna let this play for a little bit and then after it's done, I'm just gonna exit again. Just wanna show you guys some gameplay, show you guys the graphics, the colors, the smoothness of this. And again, runs really, really well. Alright, so the next game I want to showcase running on Game Pass on Shadow is Forza Horizon 4. Now, this is by far one of my favorite racing games. If you guys haven't played this game, you owe it to yourself. But again, the beauty of not needing a hardware to play this, not needing a console or PC, just doing this over the cloud, is, is a beautiful thing. So let's get right into Forza Horizon 4. All right, so we just got into the game. Let's take a look at the options. Let's take a look at the video and see what we're capable of doing here. So the maximum 60 FPS, right? Again, if you have a higher resolution, my monitor here is only 1080p. But let's mess with this. Let's go to ultra and let's save it. So again, playing this in ultra, Let's continue. The beauty about this is you get the PC port of this, not the console or not the xCloud. You actually get in the PC game so you can mess with the settings and get it to look the way you want it to look. So it's a beautiful thing. All right, so let's okay, get okay. right into this. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Turn around when it is safe to do so. So as you guys can see, I'm playing for as a horizon. And damn does it look good. And damn does it run good. Let's get out of here. Go to the wild. Is this the race? I'm in the race. I don't want to be in the race. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Alright. Ooh, my goodness. Hello. Oh, 
Nick up here. Let's take a look at this beauty. Turn around when it is safe to do so. But you guys see how beautiful this game looks, and it runs so smooth. No hiccup whatsoever. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I want to experience the beauty. Oh my, my driving skills. Not good. just want to give you guys a gameplay of Forza Horizon 4 running on Shadow. Alright fellas, so the last game I want to showcase running on Shadow through Game Pass is Gears 5. So let's take a look at this, take a look at the settings, and see what we can do with this to get the maximum playability with this. All right, so we're just gonna get right into this. Continue from the campaign. But before we do so, I want to showcase the settings real quick. show you guys some customizability so as you can see here it's running an ultra and because i have a 1080p monitor this was going to stay at uh, again if you have 4k right this can push it up to 4k but something i want you guys to take a look at here is my frame rate so as you can see here it's at 90 fps which is insane because for xbox one x which is you know the most powerful console of the previous generation the maximum was 60 so here we're going to be doing 90 fps which is absolutely insane so let's continue with the campaign and just show you guys a little bit of what gears is all about Let's get out there right. and help your convoy. So as you can see here, it's a thin of beauty. Check out the graphics. All right, let's go to the main gate. All right, so let's go. We got to head up there. people are these dreams am I gonna have?
this guy cannot even run. He's just a beast. This is crazy. I kill my own uncle? That's crazy. Uncle. But see, so guys, can see graphically, man, this looks absolutely incredible. Okay. No, 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 Oh no. Oh, pulling on the heartstrings, bro. Kate? Who is he? I'm sorry. Ooh. Some emotions, man. Thanks, it's got me in my feels. Of course. All right. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? Oscar's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Now we need to leave. I'm not going. Oh. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? All right, fellas. Don't want to spoil this story for you guys. Again, just want to give you guys a look at what Game Pass looks like running on Shadow. And again, this is the best way to experience your Game Pass games in the cloud. I know come this fall, right, Microsoft's going to make xCloud available for Game Pass users. But if you can't wait, if you have a huge library of Game Pass games that you want to play anywhere at any time on any device, this is by far the best way to do it. And I think something that is going to be even better than Game Pass when it releases with xCloud in the fall is the fact that this gives you the PC access to games. So the, the Game Pass, when it releases in the fall, is going to be exclusive to the, the Xbox One S processor. So it's not going to be as strong and as powerful. But with Game Pass and Shadow, you'll have access to playing the PC ports of these games. And you'll be able to mix up the settings and get like 90 FPS, 120 FPS like you saw here with Ori and, Sh uh, and Gears of War 5. So I highly recommend you guys give this a go if you guys are looking for a way to play your Game Pass game in the cloud. All right, fellas, hope this video was helpful for you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, cover all the cloud gaming platform. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out.